We thank you for protecting them. Father, thank you, Father, thank you, Father, thank you for your grace and mercy. For uh, your grace and mercy, for Lord, it is only your grace that has brought us this far. This morning, Lord, if you are life and kicking, we just want to thank you. Father, we want to thank you for what you have done in our life and what you continue to do. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, thank you this morning. Lord, thank you for waking us waking us up this morning. Lord, it is not our doing, but it's by your grace. This morning, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you, Abba. We want to thank you for what you have done in our life. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter.
Spirit to come and be in our midst this morning. We want him to come and take absolute control of everything that we're about to do this morning. That his mercy and his grace will just saturate this room this morning. That we'll have an encounter with him this morning. Lord, we are praying and we are inviting you to come in our midst this morning. Spirit divine, come and take absolute control of this meeting this morning. Lord, Lord, come and have your rightful place in our midst this morning. Lord, we say take absolute control. Lord, take absolute control. Spirit divine, we invite you now. We invite you to come and have your way in our midst this morning. Lord, we need an encounter with you this morning. Lord, let us have an encounter with you this Abba, come and take on the road. Abba, come and take on the road. Abba, come and take on the road. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Have your own way, have your own way. Have your own way, and I'm not so Lord. We depend on you, O Lord, and I'm not so Lord. Mess alone like a mighty Russian window. You alone, you alone, I walk on my muscle. Have your way, have your way. Have your way in our midst. Lord, take absolute control. Lord, fill every vessel this morning. Yes, sir. Baba, 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 Lord, may we feel your presence this morning. Lord, may we have an encounter with you this morning. May we experience you like never before this morning. Lord, take control. Lord, saturate this atmosphere. Lord, take control of this morning. Lord, your hand. Lord, your hand. Lord, your hand. Lord, your hand. Lord, your hand.
you have done. Lord, we thank you for your grace, for your mercy. Father, who are we that you are so mindful of us? Lord, you have watched and protected us from January till now. Father, it is not our doing, but it's only by your grace. It is only by your mercy. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have done, Lord. We thank you for protecting our children, Lord. We thank you for our family. We thank you for your church. Father, Lord, this morning, as we worship with you, as we, we, we service with you, Lord, we want to have an encounter with you this morning. It's very divine. We pray that you come and take absolute control of everything that we're about to do this morning. Father, fill us like never before. Let us have an encounter and experience with you this morning. Lord, we commit everything in your hand. We say, Abba, take your rightful throne in our midst. And when it's all said and done, Lord, you alone will deserve our glory. We thank you for what you have done and what you continue to do in our life. This we ask in your mighty name. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to thank God for how far he has brought us. This week, the Lord has visited his church. And between you and I, we have become a blessing. If we have any special thanksgiving this morning, then we will give it to the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen. And I say, Fata wo, aye ye Fata wo, ye nene Christo. I say, da Fata wo, aye ye Fata wo. Beloved, is blood, if blood is flowing through us, if we are still a living being, then it is God who has made us so. You and I have something to tell the Lord. The many drivings that we go through, to and fro. Yesterday, I was driving around and I said to myself, there's one thing that I'm expecting. So, the way and manner I was driving, all that I was looking for was to go through an accident because I couldn't see my way and I was driving on top of my speed. Beloved, on top of all our mistakes, the Lord didn't See to it that you will die. Probably you felt sick, but this morning you are well. Probably something was coming to happen to you, but the Lord delivered you. This morning we have a Thanksgiving offering to give to the Lord. Oh, 
ready, I am out. And tell me, be bit wiser. And what a ready, I Amen. And now for you, be boy. We didn't pay or give any offering. And then your crown crown, you be a yeah, And not because of our righteousness. And yeah, yeah, sorry, could be. It's not by coming to church. It's just by the grace. Ne momona a yeah, rade adum. A yeah, adum. It is just by His grace. So what you say? A adum now, and you adum ni mo. If you accept that as by grace, and you are walking in grace. This is the point whereby you can be able to have your liberty and your freedom. Amen. Amen. At this moment, we invite them to come and minister one or two songs to the glory of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are actually going to sing songs of the blood, so it's not an actual ministration. Um, so you can follow us with your heart. If you know how to sing the songs, kindly join us and as we prepare our hearts towards communion for today. Amen. Amen. Oh, happy day that fixed my choice. On thee, my Savior and my God, will this be glory? Heart rejoice and tell it raptures all abroad. Happy day, happy day, happy day. When Jesus washed my sins away. Oh, happy day, happy day. Oh, happy 
when Jesus, when Jesus was my sins away. He taught me, he taught me how to watch and, and live rejoicing. Rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, happy day, happy day when Jesus was.
amazing love. Help me sing. How can how can it be that that thou my Thank God for his amazing love. Thank you for his amazing love. How can it be that our God should die for us? Inna ma 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 Maria na la ba si na la ba ba ba. Inna ma Maria na la ba si na la ba ba ba. Inna ma Maria na la. Anna ma 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 ba. I need no other arguments. I need no other plea. Jesus died, and I he died. I need no other argument. Jesus. 
ba 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 oto 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 lift up your voice and worship him this morning adabali anala ba si anala ba ba ye na ma maria anala ba si anala ba ba li anala ba ba we exalt you we exalt you we exalt you Yanda baba di yanda la baba di yanda la baba 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 Enna mama li yanda la Kitanda la basi yanda la baba di yanda la baba 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 Enna mama 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 li yanda la basi yanda la baba Thank you Father Yanda la basi yanda la baba di yanda la baba baba Enna mama mama li yanda la basi yanda la baba 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 Yanda la baba di yanda la baba baba di yanda la baba Yandere baba ri yanda la ba si yanda la baba Enna mama ri yanda la ba si yanda la baba ba ri yanda la baba Enna mama ri yanda la ba si yanda la baba ri yanda la Eka baba ri yandere baba ri yanda la baba Yanda la baba baba ba ri yanda la ba si yanda la baba Yena mama ri yanda la ba si yanda la baba Yanda baba ri yandere baba ma ri yanda la baba Worship him, worship him, worship him. Kata baru andere, bari andala baba. Yanda la bari andala basi andala baba, bari andala baba. Yanda mama li andala baba. Ena mama ri andere, kaba bari andala baba. Andala baba baba. You came from heaven to earth to show. From the earth to the cross, my death you pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name. You came, you came from heaven. The cross, my death you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name. Sing, Lord, I lift you. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to see.
One more time, he paid the debt. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone. Oh. Jesus came in and was it? Now I can sing. Yet na baba. Yet na baba baba bani yana la baba. Lift up your hand and let's sing one more time. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone. I had to wash my sins away. Oh, how I can sing. took our place and died for us. We were condemned and we deserve to be killed. We deserve to die. But Jesus took our place and died for us. This is the man that we have come to follow. 
Jesus loved us so much that he took our place and died for us. This is the man that loves us. His love for me. His love for me. Oh, brought Jesus to die as my Savior. His love, His love for, for me. me. Brought Jesus to die on the tree. Oh, His love for me. Oh, His bringing me nearer to glory. Our seats. Best one day, one day, I will know all the death of His love for me. Oh, one day, I Bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name. King of kings, we bless your name. You are Lord alone. There is none that can be compared unto you. Ancient of days, as old as you are, you continue to remain the same. Father, we bless you this morning. We bless you for your grace. Bless you for your mercies. We were condemned, O oh Lord, but your mercies endure us forever for us. This morning, we thank you for how far you've brought us. 
Thank you for how far you've brought your church. Say, take glory, Father. Mm. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. And shall we shout a big amen? Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. If you are here, let me see your hand. Please wave. We thank God this morning for bringing us under his feet. Oh, it is a day the Lord has made and we we'll rejoice and be glad in it. It's a special day because he has set a table before us to come and dine with him. And, and this morning we are privileged to be called to this table. This week we have been in a prayer and fasting mood. Under the team, behold, the Lord is my helper. So when I shall behold, you shall, the Lord is my helper. Behold. So from Thursday up to today, or even yesterday, we've been meeting here to hear the word of God and to pray. And on Thursday, we spoke on understanding the believer's need for help. And we made so many um, reasons, or we gave so many reasons why believers we need help. And let me see by hands those who are here on Thursday. Oh, lift up your hand. I'm not going to call you, just lift up your hand. Uh-huh. So we said that there is a reason, or there are four reasons why believers need help. And what was the first one we said? Yes, lift up your hand. Yes. Because of the weakness of the flesh. Man is so weak that we cannot do everything on our own. That is why the Lord has made provisions to help us in times of need. Because he knows that we are weak. He experienced that with, his, with the disciples. The Bible the says the Lord has come to hide and to pray a little bit. And when he came back, he found them, they were sleeping. And he asked, you couldn't even wait for just one hour. Now, I want to say, to me and try me, don't show you back home. Because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I was saying that no, sometimes we, 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 we want to come to church. We, our mind, our spirit tells us that we should come to church. Especially on weekdays, we want to come. But when we get back from work, we go home and then we step back outside. The body tells us that. It is very cold. And sometimes we want to do the good things. But the body, the flesh, fights against our will or our spirit. And they are always wanting to do the good so Paul said, what I want to do, I do not do. But what I don't want to do, that is what I keep on doing. Because he realized that the body or the flesh is weak. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And what was the second reason that we gave? We are vulnerable, yes, 
We are vulnerable to misfortune. As we are sitting here, we are all good. We are healthy. We are moving. Our bodies are moving. But we are so vulnerable that in a twinkle of an eye, anything can happen to us. Can you imagine because we are vulnerable to so many things. Vulnerable to sickness. Vulnerable to grief. Vulnerable to deception. Loneliness. So many things. Disappointment. So we need the help of God. And when these things come, He will be able to sustain us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And what was the third thing? We realize that we are also in a battle. Whether you like it or not, as a Christian, you are in a battle. If it is not a physical battle, you are in a spiritual battle. So whether you like it or not, you are in a battle. Unfortunately, this battle is not fire, it's not fought with guns and knives and sword and all those things. Because Paul said, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers of darkness, things that do not want to see us do what. Well. Amen. 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 God fight my battle. Sir, O Queen, you are not your catcher. Rather, sir, O Queen, you are married to me. Go and rather, but come and come, mommy. So David said, and he said in Psalm thirty-five that contend with those who contend against. And today we can walk and you are at the ascent. You must say, rather, only one man will only make you and come, mommy. Because there are people who are contending against you. Sir, sir, you want chlorophobia? You want to wear a con? Whether you like it or not, you have people contending against you. Sir, we are in war with you tomorrow. Now we need to know you want chlorophobia. You want to wear a con? And you cannot do it on your own. Now, sir, a you have to leave the battle to him. Because one thing that we know is that he is the one who fights battle and has never been defeated. The battle is not yours. The battle belongs to the Lord. So leave your battles to him. And tell him the Lord contend with those who contend against him. Hallelujah. Amen. We also realize that the world hates us. Whether you like it or not, you have haters. Oh, lift your hand if you know you have haters. Whether you like it or not, you have haters. So sometimes, sometimes it amazes me when people try as much as possible to be liked by everyone. You can never have everyone like you. You have people who will stand against you. You have the world that will stand against you. You have people who hate you. Some will hate you just by, by, by the virtue of that you have a nice head. Uh, by the virtue of your nose is pointed. They will also hate you by the virtue of that everything that you touch becomes a blessing. So whether you like it or not, you have people who hate you. And it's not for you to, 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 to avenge or to, to do anything. Just leave it unto the Lord. Because the Lord 
who vengeance belongs to. Now, and you would me, sir, when the sun crop for any area, see, but contending in a moment, a rally, sun is on no back. So the world will hate you. So when Jesus was leaving, he told his disciples, Don't be alarmed when the world hates you. As a matter of fact, when they hate you, or if they hate you, remember that they hated me first. So so if Jesus who came gave his life up unto our for, for, for man, if he was hated, how much more? You? So whether you like it or not, people, the world will hate you. So sometimes you see on the news on social media where some people have taken Christians to the shore, taking knives and then they are cutting off their heads, not because they've done anything, because they've said that we will follow him wherever he goes. I am a Christian because of that, they hate them. But all in all these, we are assured of the promise of God. Even when we are hated, we know that there is a promise that He loves us. He has the promise that even when you are weak, then you are strong. He loves us. He has promised us. And these promises are what we realize on Friday that God has promises for believers in times of need. And we realize that he has the, the, the power to fulfill the promise or the reason why he's able to fulfill these promises is because he has the power and the will to do it. The fact of the matter is that when God decided, decided or decides to bless you, decides for his promise that he has for you to come to pass, he doesn't need consultation with anybody. Now, Because he has the power and the will. So whenever he wants, wherever he pleases, that is when he blesses you. Whatever promise he has said concerning your life, he will see to it that it comes to pass. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We realize that also he is 100% trustworthy. Amen. Man cannot be trusted. They can be trusted to a limit. And they will disappoint you. Why? Because I was saying that man, when it comes to fulfilling promises, sometimes is limited by resources. Sometimes your, your husband will promise you that I'll buy you a BM. A Benz, a Cadillac, whatever, CTS, 65, whatever. But then it has been 10 years, it has been 15 years, the car has not been bought, the building he promised you has not been built. Why? Because he is limited in resources. Resources. <laughs> He wishes that he could just do it. But the mullah is not there. He has the will. He has the wish. That that he will do it. But the resource, which then is the so money, is not there. But our Lord, the creator of the 
universe. Above a true, you know. and earth. Any assassin, no. Not limited in resources. I know the Akandiano. When it came time for him, no. him to get money, the Bible says he took money out of the mouth of faith. Bible says, "I'm not so young, no. Oh, yes, he got the idea, no. Oh, so many people he used to get fee." So when it comes to resources, our Lord is not limited. He is not limited to resources. Not limited to resources. And we said that also that He is unchanging. He doesn't change. The Bible says Hebrews thirteen eight. Bible account of Hebrew for woman at the the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I was telling the church that the law does not change, but instead we, we, we change. We have changed. Yes, sir. We change. Yes, sir. Over time, we change. When things, we are in need of things, we change. When we get them, we change. Yes, I can We are ever changing. But the Lord never changes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this morning, the Lord wants me to tell you that you have changed. That is why you are not realizing the promises in your life. So you have changed. So this morning, he wants me to caution you that return to your first love. What happened? You were first to show up at church. When we needed people to, 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 to send, when we called you, we knew it was your banker that you accept and you will go. But we are looking for people to sing. You were the first to grab the mic. Now you are looking for people to ask you, go and pick up the mic. But what happened? We changed. Yes, sir. So God revealed unto the apostle John. To tell the church in Ephesus. He says, tell them, I know your deeds. I know your hard work. I know your perseverance. I know that even you cannot tolerate wicked people. I know that you've tested people who call themselves apostles and prophets. And you have found them to be false prophets. I know that you have persevered and endured in hardship. For my name's sake. But he said, tell them yet I have this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. And he said, consider how far you have gone. Consider how far you have fallen. And repent. This is the message he gave to John to tell the church in Ephesus. He said, tell them if they don't repent, I will come down and remove their lampstand. This morning, the Lord wants me to ask you, or ask yourself, what changes has come in your life? What happened that the joy, the love that you had for the Lord to stand on your feet and pray, to sing, to be in a rush to come to the house of the Lord? What happened? What happened to that joy? 
And then I see Nanka down here, Nija, with the year, Rajo, Juma, who be ready for you, Abaya, Radia, Juma, which now will not swap on Paya, Aki Khan, what I share Radian Munyam, and then I see ya, and now we're into me, and you will come back to yourself. So I wonder who I never bound also. The Bible says we serve a God who is faithful and just. Bible says, Ya sum yamia, or ya no quarrel for now, the periphery, and is able to forgive us of all our sins. And to automatically, I'm from Sunni, I'm born in another Tayan. So if you have fallen, this morning he is giving you the opportunity to come back to him. He is wide open. Ready to accept you. Oh, hallelujah. Whenever he promises, he fulfills them. One thing about our God is that he is not a one-way God. When he promises, he fulfills them. But the way and manner he fulfills them are not always the same. Sometimes we lose the uh, track of the fact that God is not a one-way God. The method and time he chooses to bless you or to let your promise come to pass is not the same as he would do with your brother or he did with your brother or sister. So when your friend got married and gave birth in the second year, does not mean when you get married, you give birth in the second year. The fact that your brother started selling paint in Ghana and is so wealthy now, does not mean when you start buying paint to go to Ghana, you to your breakthrough will come. The fact that people are buying cars to go and sell in Ghana does not mean you should also buy cars and go and sell them. Our God is not a one-way God. Even when it comes to sickness, when you do, you look at the ministry of Jesus healing or his healing ministry, you realize that he is not a one-way God. At times, he just spoke the word. At times, people will just even touch the hem of the garment. At times, he even spat on the face. At times, he spat on the, 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 the floor, made a mud, and then put it on the, on the eyes of the blind. Even all these people received their healing. It goes to show that our Lord is not a one-way God. So don't stop looking at others and asking God to bless you the same way. Enti jai sa wo she enshira nyame die chira enkrofo ono na wo she nyame kwan se enshira no se no de ba kwasi so no sa no fa mra wo so. Even in our callings. Empo wa yan asofo so omofra yi mu no. I'm not talking about pastor but in a Christian calling. Even empo wo nyame so mu ofra yi no. Some were called in the morning. Ebi no ye from an opa. Some were called in the afternoon. Ebi no ye from a wea. Some were sleeping and they heard the call of God on their lives. Ebi no so no wo da no wote se nyame fra wo. So it means that the way and man of God chooses to do things are not the same. When it says, "Kwanya nyamibe vasundi sankrofo inaya jumano anya kwamba kuso," 
So the promise God has concerning your life will come to pass, but it will not be the same. And if you say a radia show or one of a bam nemo, a quina a befasono, and yes, our quina and a befaso de amawinia. Oh, hallelujah! Amen. There are promises God has made to us. Your Apostle Bebra, a radia saying. And before we go on, let me give you a quotation so that you don't say Pastor preach, but no quotation. Now, answer now, you're back to us. So, no, my pastor, you're back in cancer. I can cancer me. Second Corinthians chapter one. We read from verse eighteen to twenty. Aha. Uh-huh. Is on the board. It says, but as surely as God is faithful, our message to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was, who was preached among you by us, by me and Silas and Timothy, was not yes and no. But in him it has always been yes. Someone say, in him it has always been yes. In him it has always been yes. And it says, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ, and so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So there are so many promises God has made concerning us. Promises of Promises of healing. Promises of deliverance. Promises of protection. Security. Prosperity. Promises to the barren. And so many promises. And the good thing is that these promises are fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. They are fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So our team for the 2018 uh, uh, Christmas convention is that thank God for this undescribable or for his undescribable gifts. Because this gift is also the bearer of our promises. So it means that without the gift, our promises will not come to pass. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So thank God for his undescribable gift. He has given it to us free. So the song in Chi says, or the Yesu, so the songwriter says that God or Christ has been given to us freely. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So aside for all these promises that the Lord has made to us, there are also some particular promises that are fulfilled in Christ. The first promise that is fulfilled in Christ is the promise of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1.13 says, In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of salvation and believed in him, were sealed with the promise of Holy Spirit. So there are certain promises that the Holy Spirit has a gift. As long as Oh, I have Jesus within my heart. Oh, He is my Lord. Oh, I will oh, oh, love Him. Breathe. Me running on my soul, no. Then in a fish be what Jesus said. The Spirit of God. Be what Jesus said. Be what Jesus said. Be what Jesus said. Be what Jesus said. Be what Jesus 
son nom, Danina, fils de The Bible says that you will receive power. The Bible says that you will receive power. When the Spirit of God comes upon you, the power is for service. So you have the power to serve him. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It is that same Spirit that is able to transform and revive and renew us. The spirit is able to turn or transform the weak person into a strong person. The spirit is able to turn the, 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 the timid or fearful one into a bold person. The spirit is able to turn the timid or fearful one into a bold person. The spirit is able to turn the timid or fearful who was called by a little girl to deny him being a follower of Christ. When the Spirit of God came upon Peter, and he and John were walking and they were able to heal a lame man, the people reported them to the leaders of the town. And they brought Peter and John to the Sahindran. And they were asking him, by what name do you heal this man? And the Bible says, Peter, full of the Spirit, Bible stood says, Peter, boldly. He stood boldly and said, It is by the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. The name of Nazareth. The one you people rejected. Has now become the cornerstone. May the spirit turn the timid into a bold person. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. When you meet this Jesus who, who gives us the spirit or his spirit, so we share yes, we are then one my noah. He turns your life 360 degrees. That is why when you meet a man who was known to be a drunkard, and he's serving God wholeheartedly, preaching his word, and you ask, what happened? And he will start singing to you, Jesus, Jesus, Queer man whose daughter. Is this not a young man's son? A young man's son who, who was drinking and sometimes you find him in gutters. A man son not to me no man son. I've been over with no one. And his son was no good. None of the son was so good. You can say that his son was a thief. None of the son was so good. Is this not a young man's son? Is this not a young man's son? A young man's son not to me no what happened? A young son had an encounter with the Holy Spirit. When you have an encounter with the Spirit of God, your life changes. So Paul, a persecutor of the church, dragging people from their house to be killed. Dragging people from their houses to, to, to prisons. The Bible says, on the way to Damascus, he had an encounter with the Spirit of God. And Paul, who was a persecutor of the church, became a preacher 
of the gospel. When you have an encounter with the spirit of God, it changes your total being. So baby, baby. Oh, For his children is the promise of forgiveness of sin. Forgiveness of sin. It doesn't matter how bad you think your sins are. And found the sin you were born in and were carrying in our sun. It doesn't matter the atrocity of your sin. If you genuinely repent of your sin. I would say he is faithful and just. To forgive us of our sins. And to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. This promise belongs to us as Christians. So it doesn't matter your sins. I don't know the sins you committed yesterday. That you are here clapping and singing. Pastor did not see it. Software. Elder did not see it. Maybe your wife or husband did not even see it. But the Lord saw you. One thing that we have to realize is that at the sound of the trumpet, we will not stand in front of man to give account. You will stand before the creator of the universe. The one who sees all things. Who knows all hearts. Whatever you did the day before today, last week, last month, a year year ago, two years ago that you've not repented of. Today is the day of salvation. If you repent, he has the promise of forgiveness for you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Another particular promise he has for his children is the presence of God. The presence of God. The Bible says when Moses died and God told Joshua to lead the people of Israel. He realized that this Joshua is a timid man. So he told him, he said, Joshua, no, see Joshua, be strong and courageous. And he said, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. He said, so don't be afraid or discouraged. And he says, for wherever that you go, I, the Lord your God, will be with you. Oh. Quentin, 
tu esuro na meka bonye mawaku mentu na mene wonam na sabote na sabote na mabo wawo ewa o kristo akwantu So this promise of the presence of God is also for us. It belongs to us. So don't 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 be discouraged. Don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid. God is with you. So this is what he said in Isaiah 43. He says, he who created you, Jacob. He who formed you, Israel. He said, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. And he said, you are mine. It means you belong to him. And he said, when you pass through the water, now, as I say, when I'm on the other side, I, me and make a home. And when you pass through the rivers, now, as I when I'm on the other side, they will not sweep over you. When you so and so, I move fast. When you walk through the fire, so when I'm on the other side, oh, you will not be burned. I'm on the other side, and she will die. You will not be burned. It doesn't show. The Lord is with you. Jehovah come home. The Lord is with you. Jehovah come home. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Last but one, the promise, particular promise, is the peace of God. God has promised us that he, we will have peace. One of the things as Christians that we should always be praying for, yearning for, is to have the peace of God. Because one thing that is sure to be attached to the peace of God is the joy of God. Peace. Peace. Says unto us. I say, a son is born. To us, yen. A son is given. Say the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor. Mighty God. The Prince of Peace. Your father is the Prince of Peace. So you ought to enjoy peace of God in your life. This morning, you are going through any chaos in your life. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding may become your portion. May it become your portion. We have that promise of peace. In your marriage, if you are not enjoying peace, this morning I declare and decree peace. That may the peace of God that allows people to enjoy their marriages may enter into your marriage in the name of Jesus. If your children are going wayward, has stolen your peace. When you sleep, you are not able to sleep. So what that one now? Because you don't know that when the phone rings, what news will be coming. So when you say, "Mufra ya piyabia," this one is my prayer. Ano pe ya mimpai basa. That the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. May it become yours in the name of Jesus. Ano nyamu diya wa yesu ni nemo. The peace of God. When you have the peace of God, nothing bothers you. The peace, peace, peace. Even if you have peace and you don't have money, you enjoy life. 
You enjoy life. You can eat gare and go to sleep. You jump up in the morning. It is as if you ate a three-course meal. But it was just gare. But because there is peace. When people see you, they will stay say, why are you fine? Then they will be exclaiming that, hey, you are looking good. It is not any good food that you are eating. It is just the peace of God that, you have, that has made you so. This morning, may the Lord grant you peace. Peace. And then lastly, he has promises resurrection. 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 One particular promise we have is that even when we die mm. in Christ, mm. we will resurrect. So 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 if you are a Christian, a born again Christian who does the will of God, who follows his statutes, you should not be afraid of death. That is the mantra Paul took upon himself. Paul knew where he was going when he died. So he said to live is for Christ. And to die is gain. If I live, I live for the gospel and for his work. And if I die, I am going to be with Christ. And he said, even that, I don't know which one to choose. I am confused. Because when he lives, he's doing something that he loves. And when he dies, he's going to be with the Lord. Oh, death is our benefit. We have the promise of resurrection. So when the trumpet sounds, the dead in Christ will rise. Oh, so as a Christian, don't be fearful of death. If you live your life well, if you be uh, obedient to the word of God, then close your mind to death. Because when you die today, you stand before your father. So what is your problem now? You want to see God, but you don't want to die. Oh, Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So death is benefit to believers. But what I want to caution you this morning is that I cancel any premature death. Any premature death may it be canceled in the name of Jesus. We will not accept premature death. We are for Christ. The destiny he has set for us will come to pass. Any premature death. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. It shall never come to pass. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So, 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 don't be afraid of death. If you are a Christian who believes you are doing the will of God. The only way you should fear death is if you know you are not doing his will. Because if you don't do the will of God and you die today. If God don't take care and you die. 
And you don't die in Christ. I am here to announce to you that as far as heaven is real, hell is real. So if you don't do what God is expecting you to do, when you die today, you will go to hell. But this one We have to tell you the gospel truth. That if you don't become obedient to the word of God and follow the instructions of God and live any kind of lifestyle, if you die today. It doesn't matter the good thing that will be writing about you in your obituary book. No, he loved God. He, he went to church. He was doing this. But you know yourself that this person that you are saying all these good things about was a drunkard. But you come and read all these good things without even shaking. <laughs> you, you know and you know oh, very well. May the Lord have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. I am wrapping up. Our time is fast, man. Mm. So how do we receive these promises? Amen. Number one, we receive it by faith and obedience. And see, on your phone, it says, Now we die. Now we die. Faith. Our whole Christian work is based on faith. Even our acceptance of his salvation was based on faith. I will say this is by faith we are saved. Hebrews 11, 6 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. He, that he who comes to him must believe that he is the reward of them that diligently. Hebrews 4, so until you have faith, the promise of God will not come to pass. Until you are obedient to his word, his promises will not come to pass. And how much more God, the creator of the universe, the one who created you, he is looking that you will do his will, his statutes. Obey him for him to bless you with his promise. Even our parents that we live with when they promise us they were looking to it that we will obey their commands and live according to their instructions. When he promised Abraham, Abraham that Abraham leave, go to the city I am showing you. A city he did not know of. I was asking yesterday that who amongst us when they dream and God tells them that go to Afghanistan today. That is where you are going to be blessed. You wake up and say, ask for this voice. It's not of God. Some said, no, no, Bisa says, yeah, sorry, I'm not paying. Now, uh, we don't know what Casa, Sako, Afghanistan, Yenya, 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 Yenya
And Rabbi Kassa knew it, dear. In fear, Rade. But Abraham, when God said, Abraham, leave your city and go to a city, I, the Lord, am giving to you. And Abraham took his staff and said, Yes, I'm master. Because he knew the God of Abraham is with him. Now, Abraham, the one never had a chance to say, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. Oh, Major, Mira, what kind of person? Abraham, I want you to sacrifice your beloved son to me. I have a son to say, I have a son to say, I have a son to say, I have why in this world have we seen that human beings are used as sacrifice? You will say to yourself that this voice to sacrifice my son is not from God. Isaac and said, Let us go to ne, offer unto the Lord. Ne, mama, Abraham for Isaac said, Yanko. Isaac asked the father, rightfully so, where is the lamb for the offering? He said, let us go. When we get there, mm. the Lord will provide. But we to the altar and Isaac was so about to be laid on the altar. The Bible says, God said, Abraham, Abraham, do not touch Isaac. For now I know that you fear me. Bible says, Abraham, ni Isaac, you could do a for the bomb, which I want, or time to buy two, so sir, or the number of for real, but I need to tell you, I'm going to say, Isaac, Abraham, Abraham, and found some kind of fright, a faith in me, who said, who throw me around there? You receive it by faith. I'm tedious, and obedience. And I'm tedious. This morning, may God catapult you into a level of faith. That when people say it is not possible, you will tell them that my Lord is able to raise the dead. Therefore, there is nothing too hard for him. There's nothing. He said, your friend Lazarus, Lazarus is dead. Well, hmm. He said he's not dead. Now say Omui. He's asleep. What that? As if they don't know the difference between sleep and death. When he got there, Martha said, If you had come. Martha knew that Jesus is able to prevent death. What he, she was yet to realize is that the Lord is able to raise the dead. He thought that Lazarus is not dead but he's sleeping. And he called on Lazarus, Lazarus! Yes, to friend and Lazarus, Lazarus, feet, This morning, may your faith. Cause you to make proclamations. Cause you to, to decree and declare. And your existence into existence. May your faith cause you to enter places where people don't think you can enter. May your faith. We did it. Cause you to make unusual requests. After Esther had prayed, fasted and prayed. Just as we have fasted and prayed. And he says it was not time for her to go before the king. But Esther, after fasting and prayers, went to the king. And the king said, Oh, Esther, how beautiful. What can I do for you? The Bible said, Esther made an unusual request. The Bible said, Esther made an unusual request. The Bible said, Esther made an unusual Cause you to make an unusual request. And the king said, Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He said, I want you to set a table and invite these people. Oh, what an unusual request. But now, Stanley, Prima, Costrice, Ojidia, Oboura, Wanyamia. 
But the faith of Esther has built to a certain point that he knew that when he went to the king, whatever he says will be accepted. This morning, may your faith cause you to command mountains to move into the sea. May it be so for you. May it be so for you. We receive it with perseverance. Yet they are could draw and the edging. Perseverance. Say ya kunko ding ni edging. The widow. Obey kunafono. Going to the judge day in, day out. O ko temwafon and him dabiara debiara or grant me justice. Na se on ko no fa pere pere ye enye adwuma ma no refusing to grant her justice na okwa ye mfa pere pere ye enye adwuma ma no kept on going na na order so ko kept on going da so ko she went to the point that this just says i should grant this lady her request otherwise she will keep bothering me na okwa ya mo temu afrika se ba abaywe me nka na se mi ma no na onya me ha this morning, may you persevere as this widow persevered. We are so easy to give up. It's so easy for us to give up. You know how old Abraham and Sarah were when they were promised the promised child? Abraham Sarah how long it took for that promise to come to pass. But Abraham and Sarah followed this Christ. It is God that they have come to believe in. As a Christian, you face challenges. One face challenges are shall Christ assume If you are not facing any challenges, be careful with your Christian life. I can guarantee you that if you are not facing any challenges in your life, then you are not not a good Christian. Uh, even Paul, impossible for Paul, who was taken into uh, the, the, the third heavens, who wrote all these letters, knew that there was still a level of knowing to know Christ. And there was still a level of suffering that he has to suffer for his name's sake. So he said that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings. That it will be our prayer, Lord. I want to go through the suffering to persevere. That I know at the end of the tunnel there is light. Thank you. Be careful, Radis. Radis, minimum. Say my fa. Oh, how do you mani imu? No, my sim bo sim my fam. Na ye ni musa. Oh, how we achi no? Eh, I be wawa. I be strengthy amaya. Your toil will not be in vain when you persevere. We do ma worry ya no erin ko se tarada sa wu kosu ko weni ma. So the song says. Muntin Tim Mamu him da Mokosu Namia to my emo Namo Prarina Quanta Namo Binaki Akatia Pabona Mo Prarina Quanta Namo Binaki this morning I conclude by saying that you serve the promise keeper. You serve the covenant keeping God. The God of Abraham, Jacob and Isaac is still our God today. Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, What he has said, surely he would do. The promise of receiving your documentation, may you receive it in Jesus' name. The promise of childbearing, may you receive it in Jesus' name. The promise of prosperity, may you receive it in Jesus' name. The promise of forgiveness of sin, may you receive it in Jesus' name. The promise of the Holy Spirit, may you receive it in Jesus' name.
you are a promised child. Whatever he has said concerning your life, it will come to pass. May the Lord bless you. May he give you your heart desire. The one who has called you is faithful. And surely he will do it. Shall we be on our feet? Let us pray. promise he has concerning our lives. We are telling him that this is our day, this is our time, this is our moment. So the Lord should cause his promise to come to pass. Whatever your heart desires, Lift it up onto his altar this morning. Father, we want to thank you and bless you this morning. Yes, we've been made to know this morning that you are a covenant for the keeping God. You are a promise keeping God. We want to thank you and bless you. So Father, let it us know that yes, whatever promise, whatever covenant, Father, you have Father with your child, and Father, we have you with your children. You are looking forward to it, that Father, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. We thank you. And we bless you that yes, you are a faithful God, and you are also a promise keeping God, and you are also a covenant keeping God. We thank you and we believe that for your, your, your sayings are yea and amen. We bless you. We bless you. Shall we take our seats? As we invite all presbyters to come to the table as we prepare to dine with him. On the hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I laughed at old cross where the dear rest and pass for a long Oh, I will hear far away. 
stood an old rugged cross, the end of suffering and sin. And I love that old cross, where the dearest and best, for a word of love, sinners was slain. As we are, as we have our heads bowed. And after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body. Which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way after supper, he took the cups.